Humid sand arrives by truck and is loaded into the hopper of sand feeding. Number 1. The transport of the humid sand continues into the sand dryer. Number 2. Further via bucket elevator. Number 3. On top of the sand silo into a scythe. Number 4. Here different sizes are separated and filled into the multi-chamber sand silo, number 5. The sand silo is discharged into the sand and aggregate balloons, number 6. Then further transported into the mixer, number 10. Binders are stored in silos, number 7. These binders are dosed into the binder balance, number 8, and transported via screw conveyor into the mixer, number 10. The dose and blow system, number 9, stands on the floor and can easily be charged with additives supplied in big bags or from mini silos. Additives are charged by Wehan's dose and blow system into the mixer, number 10. The high turbulence mixer, number 10, mixes binders, sand and additives. The ready mix is discharged into the bag filling machine, number 11. Bags are transported by collecting conveyors to palletizing, number 12. Depending on the scope of supply, palletizing can be operated manually or automatically. Ready mixed mortar can also be filled into side silos via the bulk charging silo. Number 13. Dry sand is charged into the sand charging hopper. Sand is dosed into the sand dryer. The sand dryer is a two-way dryer. Sand enters on one end into the interior burning chamber and leaves on the exterior cooling chamber. Gas burner. The flame directly goes into the interior burning chamber of the dryer. The sand is completely dry and transported by bucket elevator into the scythe. The scythe is placed on top of the sand silo. Generally, two or three different particle sizes are separated into the different chambers of the silo. Binder silos stand on their own legs next to the mixing platform. Additives in big bags or in mini silos are set on top of the dose and blow system. The big bags are hanging in supporting frames for easy transportation by forklift. The additives are blown through pipes to the receiver station on top of the mixer with the air buffer in the pressure tank for compressed air. High Turbulence Mixer for intensive mixing of the materials. The Bag Filling Machine for Valve Bags. After the precise weight is filled, the bags fall onto the collecting conveyor and move to the manual palletizing. The Bag Filling Machine allows the use of various bag sizes, mostly between 15 and 40 kg per bag. A good alternative for plants 10 tons or more is the automatic bag filling machine 
where bags are taken by a grab and placed into the bag filling machine. The bags are adjusted into correct positions. Afterwards, the bags go over the bag equalizer to flatten the bags. The bag collecting conveyor brings the bags to the pelletizing. A robot with fork wrap takes bag after bag and turns the bags in the correct position. Mostly, bags are stored inside a building and are directly shipped on pallets. Alternatively, a hood consisting of shrink film can be applied and the full pallets are stored outside, depending on weather conditions. Side silos are common at most construction sites in Germany. The required quantity will be filled by the mortar supplier, transported by truck and set up by a tilting mechanism. The upright silos will be filled from the side. Supply of mortar in big bags A simple method is to dose the required quantity into a mini silo and then discharge from the mini silo into a big bag. Verhan. Since 1892.